What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my midweek update video. Um, I have a couple of things to talk to you about. Some model kits to show you. So a little bit of progress uh, on one of my builds. And a shop card to talk to you about. So uh, I guess I want to I want to start with the shop card. Um, so let me let me backpedal a little bit and say that you know before I started my channel, uh, just like all of you guys, I watch YouTube, um, and there was for you guys it may be different, but for me there was the big the big channels, you know the the channels that were very influential on me. Um, Lucas C, uh, Sean over at Scale Model Car Guy channel, um, Matthew at Model Car Videos, BG, those guys, those guys all, all had a huge influence on me. Um, BG sent me my first ever shop card and that was, that was awesome. Um, and Mark Batson over at, uh, Hobby Dude 007, he was also a huge influence on me and part of why I started my YouTube channel and I'm honored uh, to get a shop card from him so I got this in the mail yesterday um, I also got a sticker but I was so dang excited to get the, the card and the sticker I stuck the sticker on my paint box before <laughs> before I could show you guys uh, so I did get a sticker it, I did it's already stuck on the box but this is the card um, it's amazing that I, for me to think, uh, I got a shop card from Mark Batson and BG, those guys, uh, it's just amazing. And thank you, Mark, for the very kind words on the back. Um, I'm extremely honored, uh, that you not only sent me this card, but you subscribe and watch my videos. Um, it's, it's amazing. And thank you very much for that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this channel which i find it hard to believe that you haven't um but if you haven't go over to hobby dude 007 mark batson's channel and subscribe because his builds are amazing uh, he's very talented very knowledgeable um offers great advice uh, and just like everybody else in this wonderful community uh he would he'll help you out if you need it Mark will help you out. Um, so yeah, go over and check him out. And maybe you'll get a shop card too. That'd be cool, right? So that is, that's the shop card. Um, as far as a couple of kits that I want to show. The first one, another, another big YouTube guy for models that I'm talking about that influenced me, uh, Matthew. He did a video last night on the Boot Hill Express. Um, he unboxed it and was asking if anybody else had built it. Uh, so I thought I would show you guys mine. I, I built it a couple years ago. I got the kit and I held on to it for a while. And then I thought, I'm going to build it because, yeah, it's cool to have as a kit on the shelf. But I'm a builder. And part of what made me want to build models was looking at built models when I was a kid. So models in a box are cool. Um, if you collect models, if you hoard model, what, whatever, it, it doesn't matter to me. That's, that's amazing. Keep it up. Great job. Um, but if you build models like I do, kudos, because that's what they're for. They were made to be built. Um, so I got, I did mine straight out of the box. Uh, the only thing I changed was the color of the curtains. Um, so this is, this is mine. Um, like I said, straight out of the box. 392 injected Chrysler Hemi. Um, it's got that tank in the back. Matthew, that's called a moon tank. I'm sure somebody commented on your video and told you, but um, those little gas tanks that go in the front of gassers or whatever, those are called moon tanks uh, because the company, Moon Eyes, I think they're the first ones to, to actually mass produce them. So I could be wrong. Please don't hate on me if I am, but I, that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's mine. Um, 
the curtains I think were supposed to be red or purple, but I thought they looked much better black. Uh, a very cool kit. Um, it is a real car. Uh, I don't know who actually uh, designed and built the car to begin with. Um, I have a gentleman that follows me, Ray. Uh, he always offers up um, knowledge and he shares, you know, with me all the time about model kits and old hot rods and stuff like that. The guy is just very, very knowledgeable. So I'm sure, Ray, you can comment in this video and tell me all about the Boot Hill Express and who originally built it. Um, as of right now, I believe the original car is owned by Galpin Motorsports. Uh, there's a gentleman that works for them. His name is Dave Sutton. Uh, I, he does all of their or either force he oversees or has a lot to do with their restorations i'm sure he does a lot of the work himself um i'm pretty sure he restored the car i, I believe again if i'm wrong i'm sorry but i'm i'm pretty sure that's the current situation for the car owned by galpin restored by dave sutton uh so yes it is a real car um and re really cool i would love to see this car in person someday who knows i might be able to you never know but definitely uh my top three models from when i was a kid um i still am chasing down the little coffin i'd love to have that that kit i'm hoping you know to find it at a swap meet here or there or you know somewhere anyway um, I don't want to pay a ton of money for it because I'm cheap and I'm poor. So, <laughs> But I'm hoping to get that kit someday, and I will build it straight out of the box, uh, just the way it's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's that's the first kit that I wanted to show you guys. Um, now, the second kit was not built by me. Um, I've told you guys before about my cousin, Chris. Uh, he, he builds models like I do. Um, we do a lot of builds together. We do a lot of buddy builds. Uh, he has been building models for uh, long before I started building models. Um, he's a great builder. Uh, we kind of think along the same lines. Um, but right now, he has got some pretty major construction going on at his house. Uh, he and doesn't have a place to put his models. So he split them up between me and his two boys. Um, he entrusts us to take care of them, um, keep them clean, keep, you know, keep them maintained, whatever, until he can build a spot in his garage to, to put them. So I have quite a few of his models here. They're all in plastic cases and um, well looked after. But he, so he bought, he, he built this model last week. So he picked this model up at a model show up here in Maine. Um, and he said, here's, you know, can you take this home? And I, of course I can. And he said, uh, do you want the box? I'm probably just going to throw the box away. And I was like, no, man, that's a really cool box. That's, that's really cool. So he gave me the box and that's it right there. And I looked it up on scale mates and, uh, this particular kit is from 1974. Um, that is cool box art. I mean, that that doesn't get any cooler than that. So this box will be displayed here in the room, um, as well as his kit. And I'm going to show you his kit. He gave me permission so that I can show you guys any of his kits. Uh, so I, I might do some videos in the future um, to show you some of his builds. Uh, we do, like I said before, we do a lot of buddy builds. So we've built the same kits. Uh, and you... You'd be kind of surprised when we do buddy builds. We don't really show each other what's going on. And we usually end up building the kit almost the same way. Um, but I'm going to show you his. So this is how this is how his came out. Um, to be honest with you, I have no idea what to use for paint. I'm pretty sure it's just testers orange with a wet look clear over it. Um, He's a very, very much an old school builder, so he doesn't, you know, he doesn't cut and buff and polish and all that. That is basically, that's going to be paint, 
and clear coat over it. And he does an amazing job. He doesn't paint in a booth. He doesn't, he, he's been doing it a long time. And the guy is just phenomenal at it. I mean, look, that's, that is an amazing build. Um, i take it off the little thing here so I can show you guys the engine. So he plug wires, fuel lines, uh, you know, he just, just nice. You know, and he, he, he paints everything under, and he, I mean, just the, the whole build is, is nice. It's, I don't know what else to say about it. Added seat belts, if you can see them in there. Kind of hard to see in there, but he added seat belts, and just beautiful. Good job. So, I wanted to show you guys that. Um, I do have a little bit of progress on the Scratch Fink 56 Ford. Um... So I got the base coat down on all the parts for the color shift paint. This needs another coat, um, but this black is, how do I say it, very watery. It, it runs very, very easy. So if you guys are haven't used the color shift paint before, um, I warn you, I at least have a hard time with... The base coat, I have to go real slow and real light because if you don't, you're going to find it's got runs and you're going to have to do some work to sand them out. Um, maybe it's me. Maybe it's a flaw in what I'm doing. If if anybody out there has used it before and is, doesn't have that problem um, or knows how to fix that problem other than going real light with the coats, I don't know. It, maybe it's the can I got. I'm not sure. But uh, I had to, on the mailbox chopper... I had to sand the base coat a couple of times because the dang thing just kept running on me. It was driving me nuts. But anyway, um, not to sidetrack, I got the chassis done on it. So I got the mount, the wheels and tires mounted. Uh, the motor is mounted in there. Um, I got the exhaust run. Obviously, I, the exhaust is supposed to go up over the axle, but because I got the axle squished in so far to the close to the floor of the truck bed... I had to dump it before the axle. Uh, steering, I had to mess with that a little bit. Um, it's a good thing it's not going to drive down the ro road because it probably wouldn't work. But the steering is there. There's steering there. So that's, I mean, that's all what it's all about, right? Just giving the appearance, mechanical appearance, not mechanical ability. Uh, at least for me. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think that's basically all I've got uh, for now. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more done on the truck. I mean, there's not a lot that I can do and show you because I gotta I gotta paint it. But um, and that tester spray paint it it doesn't dry very quick. I mean, I don't have if you let it sit for about a week, it's gonna be fine. Um, so that's basically I gotta paint it and then let it sit for about a week before I can handle it. But I'm hoping by the next video I'll have it at least painted. Might Probably won't be clear coated, but it'll be painted and I can show you that. Um, and I might start working on uh, something else. I really wanted to do that 64 rolls. I also have the shop truck build that I've got to start sooner or later. So something will be started and uh, I'll show you guys, I'll share that with you guys uh, next week or this weekend. I don't know. Next video, whenever that might be. <laughs> anyway, um, so thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Um, if you'd like a shop card, go ahead and drop me an email. Uh, my email is in every description, and uh, I'll get to you, and I'll get you a shop card out. Um, if you haven't checked out Mr. Batson's channel, HobbyDude007, go check them out. Um, if, if you haven't checked out any of the other channels that influenced me, Sean, Scale Model Car Guy channel, go check him out. He's awesome. He does some amazing videos, too. His builds are cool. He goes and visits friends that have amazing models. He just, he just that channel is really cool to watch. Um, Matthew, Model Car Videos, go check him out. I guarantee everybody watches him. That dude is like 10,000 subscribers already, which is crazy. 
Congratulations on that, by the way, Matt. Um, BG, Lucas C, you guys, I know you guys all watch them. So go check them out. Go check out their latest videos. Uh, subscribe. Give them thumbs up. All the good stuff. And, um, yeah, that'll be about it. So have a good rest of your week. Um, and hopefully we'll talk again this weekend. Thanks.